Hi and welcome to this Markup RxP video where we ask the question how can I check what cells has Markup RxP selected or identified as symbol cells on a, a chart. Um, so this is where we'll be introducing the, a new feature that's been added to the latest release called Arrays Mode. So here I've taken a, a free memorabilia chart and I have put Markup RxP in extra mode and loaded the chart in. And you can see it's identified the grid quite nicely. And uh, there's a little bit of overlap where it's picked it up the, um, the uh, center line markers on the grid, um, which is fine, these little markers here. But what I'm interested in here is it's telling us that there is 3,812 cells or populated cells or symbol cells that need marked off to complete this chart. But with Markup RxP using pattern matching, how do I know if that number is correct? So what we've introduced is a new feature where we can see what cells Markup RxP has actually marked up. And we do that by long pressing on the markup uh, button. So here we have it selected. If we then press and hold on markup, you can now see that we switch into something called Erase Mode. And in Erase Mode, all the cells, irrespective of what's been marked up, get shown in this particular color. And we can change that color if we hop over to config and we go down here. That's the color that that's using here. So we could change this color if we really wanted to, to a different color to make it more visible on your chart. But what, what we're seeing here is around the outside of the chart, Marker Bar XP has picked up these values here and it's also picked up backstitch. And the, all of these cells contribute to the 3,812 number that we have here. Well, obviously, we don't want to mark up those cells. So one of the ways that we can get around that is we could go into Erase Mode here, um, and we can start erasing them. But in this particular case, we might want to resize the grid. So I'm just going to jump down, and I'm just going to go into Adjust Grid first off. So this is just one of the ways that we can tackle this. We don't need to rotate. Everything's fine. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom in and I'm just going to move um, the boundaries of the grid in. So it's not going to pick up those numbers like that. And we'll move him down just so he's on the line. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we'll say it done. So now when we go back, we're back into a raise mode and we can see that We've dropped down from um, 3,812 to 3,782. So then we can, <coughs> excuse me, then we can continue on this. We can flip over to Erase Mode here. So we just click on the Erase Mode and we can see that we have backup. So just like in Markup, if you just drag your cursor over these values here, you can start removing uh, the backstitch that you might not want to have included. So I'm just going to quickly go through this. I'm just going to pause the video and you can see that we're down to 3,767. Um, I'm going to repeat this process here. And you can see also actually just an interesting one there is at the bottom here. Because the grid on this particular line hasn't lined up perfectly, the black lines in, in these cells have been picked up by Markup RxP to identify them as symbols. And this is where you would go into a raise mode here and you would literally just drag the cursor down to remove those cells. And as you're removing that, the count reduces. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and uh, I'm going to show you what that looks like when that's all done. Just while I was uh, just tidying up the chart, I came over the number here, which has obviously been picked up um, with backstitch. So again, just to demonstrate here, you go into a raise mode. And once you're in a raise mode, then you can just quickly zip over all of those numbers, or over the backstitch, sorry, and just remove everything that you need if you didn't want that included in the count on your chart. So I've just spent a minute or two just going through the chart and removing all of the cells that were over backstitch. So you can see, like I mentioned on the 217 or on the hair here, just simply remove them. No big deal. And also off the lettering at the top. 
And what that's done is that's tidied up the chart. So we did originally have uh, 3,812, and that's taken the number of stitches down to 3,624. Uh, and that is how we can use a raise mode um, to, to sort of refine the selections that Mark Bar XP has thinked, uh, thinks is which cells are populated. Um, it gives you just that bit of finer control. Now, I will mention to get back into markup mode, all you do is you press the erase mode and press and hold. That takes you back into markup mode. Now, if you um, do decide to mark up the chart, for, for example, here, if we just say now, we're going to mark up all symbol cells. So those are all the cells that it thinks are populated. You can see now those are the cells that mark up our XP on our chart as populated, which we've tweaked in a raise mode. Um, however, if you then went back, because these cells are now marked up in our default color, just to make you aware of this, oops, sorry, don't want to do that. If you press and hold on markup and go back into a raise mode, in here now, because the cells are marked up, Marker Bar XP thinks those cells are important. So even if you start removing cells here, you'll notice that the count at the top is not updating, which is expected because those cells here um, that have been identified have been marked up in markup mode. So that's why they'll still get included in the count when you're in a raise mode. And we can just simply hit the undo button if we want to move that back. So that's just a little, just something to be aware of when you're working in a raise mode. And then if you want to get back, um, so you can start marking up, just clear all your markup cells. And now you're ready to go. Uh, I hope that's been useful. Thanks very much for watching.